So if your toilet isn't flushing completely and you think that you need a new toilet, well, maybe not. Hi everybody, I'm Lee of CJ Drill and if this if it's your first time here, can I just say welcome to you? We're a home improvement channel where beginners are welcome as well. At the top of the video, I talked about a common problem, and that's when your toilet doesn't deliver enough force to carry waste away that's in the bowl. And you find yourself having to flush two, three, maybe even four times to accomplish that. And so maybe you're thinking, well, it, it could be time for a new toilet. Well, maybe not. That's a common problem with a solution. I'm going to share that solution with you and walk you through it. And you're going to be surprised. It's probably not what you think. So let's get started. Now there's a reason why we try to scrub thoroughly underneath the rim of a toilet. Now there are small jets which allow water to flow into the bowl and sometimes those jets get clogged with mineral deposits like calcium and lime and sometimes bacteria. And when those jets get clogged, well it prevents the toilet from doing its job. It can't deliver the force needed to carry waste away. And that's when you find yourself having to flush two, three, and four times. Now first we need to shut off the water and where we do that is at the supply valve that supplies the toilet its water. Now next we want to flush the toilet because we want to empty all the water in the tank and especially in the bowl get out all the residual water take a sponge or a towel or a rag and just make certain that you dry the surface of the toilet bowl really well especially under the rim now what we've got to do is we've got to pour vinegar into the toilet bowl tank but before we can do that we're going to take duct tape and we're going to run that duct tape along the bottom of the toilet bowl rim. Now what that's going to do is it's going to block up those jets and it's going to really allow the vinegar to work on dissolving the calcium and lime deposits. Now remove the lid from the toilet. Now we want to take our vinegar, we're going to want to pour it into our overflow tube, and that's this here. Now remove the duct tape. Now let's give our toilet bowl a really good brushing out. Now it's time to thoroughly clean the jets. I'm going to use the drain millipede, but you can really use any flexible piece of wire. Anything that you can use to get up in the jets, clean it out thoroughly of all those mineral deposits without damaging like crack in the porcelain. So be very careful with what you use. Just use something flexible, not something too rigid. Now make certain to clean out the siphon jet as well. That's the larger hole at the bottom of the toilet. You know, sometimes that can become obstructed with mineral deposits as well. Now it's the moment of truth. Now it's time to flush the toilet. This is Leah saying you can do this. See you next time.